agency, 225, and uh, I guess uh, in, it's a new industry, but we're kind of old school. I've been in this since 1991. Uh, before we knew it was industry, I don't think anybody knew there was an industry, but uh, I helped build the Blockbuster Network back then. and. Uh, we have always uh, tried to present ourselves as being able to handle everything, which a lot of people did when they were starting in this industry. And uh, when you're talking to a client that you're a turnkey solution, but our main forte is, is, uh, is content and creative. And uh, we try to take a, uh, an approach where, and this might make us unique, um, it, it's a little frustrating sometimes because I don't see everybody taking these steps. I see more happening more and more now, but. In the early days, it wasn't, but we try to really uh, emphasize a content strategy, and then the next step is the creative process, and then it's the execution. I, I see a lot of times that a couple of those steps are skipped, and people like to see the, the eye candy right away, and it, those other steps are really vital. I think every retailer is replacing the static signs, without a doubt. It's here to stay. The struggle I see is usually on the content side, a lot of times it's not well thought out and sometimes that gives a black eye to the entire industry. If there's a failed network, you know, at a Borders or wherever it is, you know, it, it, it tends to paint a bad picture for everybody because if you go in and talk to that client about, hey, we want to talk to you about a digital signage network, we tried that, you know, and, and, and so I'm kind of cheering for everybody to do a much better job and the more successful networks, the, know, it, I think it's better for everybody. Right now, this industry is booming, and I've seen it go from nothing to, to where it's at. But with that comes a lot of confusion. You know, I have a lot of friends from a retailing standpoint, and they, they'd come into a show, and they leave more confused. You know, now I don't know who's the right person to turn to. So it's organizations like DSC that really help, I, you know, the education process, bring people up to speed. And, and uh, I, I think it's super valuable. It's funny, when we started doing conference calls, I felt that it was getting more into the execution. You have to have a good content strategy, and I see people scribbling that down. Then they go back to their office, and well, what is that? We're gonna try to really focus on how to build a content strategy, you know, with a client, obviously. But that's the step before you do creative, and then after the creative, then you come with the execution. So it's a process, but the first step is the, the strategy. If you don't have a strategy, you know, it's like having a, how to, how to make a movie without a script, you know? So that's how I translate it.